Hey guys, Brian Freeze Laser here, and bringing a, another video of Yu-Gi-Oh! Return of the Duelist in depth. Now, one of the cards that stood out like far ahead of the others to me was an ultra rare called Silver Sentinel. In Japan, Silver Sentinel was called Silver Sniper. And if you didn't know, the word Sentinel means a guard whose job it is to stand watch. So essentially, a sniper's job. But of course, Yu-Gi-Oh! being Yu-Gi-Oh!, they changed Sniper to Sentinel due to its, you know, being of violent connotation. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is Silver Sentinel's ridiculous effect. Well, what I think is a ridiculous effect. I don't know. It's a little slow, but pretty good. So, his effect is you can set him as a spell or trap card in the spell and trap zone as a spell. His other effect is... During the end phase of the turn, this set card in your spell and trap card zone was destroyed by an effect your opponent controlled and sent to the graveyard. Target one card your opponent controls, if possible. Special summon this card from your graveyard. And if you do, destroy that target, if any. The reason this is crazy good is because your opponent essentially negative twos themselves. Okay, what do you, let me give you his stats. He's a four star earth monster. 1500 attack, 1200 defense. Not super great, but there's other cards that are going to go with him. He is a warrior, so you can row to him. I mean, if you want to give away your strategy or whatever, or if you want to bluff, you can row to into him, show your opponent that you got him. They'll be like, hmm, do I want to pop that backfield? I don't think so. So, that gives you a free set. Okay, so he has psychological value. Now, What's crazy about him is, you set him on your turn, your opponent mysticals him during the end step, destroying him with their effect. It's the end step. Now he gets his effect, like immediately. You have a monster on the board or a backfield, you target it, special summon him. He, he, he can be hit by a bottomless trap hole, but who cares? You know, you set, you set him, and he comes out. And if it's not a, a, a bottomless trap hole, it'll be a, you know, a torrential, or it'll be a, a solemn morning or whatever. If it's a torrential, that's even better. Because now he comes out, and your opponent's like, well, I don't want you to have a, you know, a plus on me. You know, so, then they torrential. Then they negative themselves even more! Because, you know, assuming they didn't have a monster to begin with, then he's just ridiculous. So, okay, so, so let's, let's say they have a, cre a monster there, no, no backfield support, like a, just another, but something else. You know, a call or something. You pop that backfield, bring him out, or pop the monster. You know, bring him out. They have their call, whatever. Who cares? And now you have your mystical. Hit the backfield. You know, assuming that they're not playing him too. So the first negative is from you, from them popping him, and then you getting him back. So you lost nothing, and they lost their removal card, their heavy, the dust tornado, mystical, whatever. So then, the second negative comes from him coming out. And popping something, so you, your, your opponent just essentially negative two themselves, not knowing that that's what was going to happen. I think this card is just like, like way good, like just like one of the best in the set. I wouldn't be surprised to see this guy being played in threes. You know, this is gonna make people be very wary of just you know recklessly popping backfield cards. I was gonna do a different video today about how you know. I thought that the, the meta was slow, or was going to be slow, and then Konami comes out with these crazy combo cards and lets you bring out level 10 and level 8 OTK options really fast, but I think this guy is just a little bit above that. We'll get to that maybe later in the week, but this guy is really good. You know, I mean, I can't really think of anything else to say about him. It's just he's, I can't see any drawback to this playing this guy, you know, and my friend told me, well, you, know, you got to wait for your opponent to pop it or whatever, but I mean, like, your opponent's going to pop it. It's just gonna happen. You set it with multiple cards. You can set a, a you know, a him and a Starlight Road. That's ridiculous. You know, you set the you set the Starlight. Road. Oh, they heavy Starlight Road. Here's a, star, a Stardust. Okay, well, you know, do I really want to waste a Mystical in that backfield now? You know, it's, okay, they got a star a Stardust. They might just tribute off their Stardust. Whoever. Oh, I'm gonna try it anyway. Mystical surprise. You know what I mean? Just use this guy. So. I think he's really, really good, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him play it in a lot of top tier decks, or just you know, just just splashing a lot of decks. He's super ridiculous, but he's an ultra, 
So there you go. And he's a little situational, but you know who doesn't pop backfield? Just who doesn't do that? Who doesn't do that? Like nobody. So you know, there's that. My you know my friend told me the other day. I was tell, I was telling him about it, and I, I talked to a couple of people, and they were just they all were in agreement that he's really good. And um, you know. He has a high risk factor that he won't, you know, he might be a waste of a card because he just sits there, whatever. But with high risk factor comes high reward. So the higher the risk, the better the reward. You know, and the risk is that your opponent may never hit him. Your opponent may never want to hit that guy. They might be too scared to, to touch him. And if he's on the board, no gores. You know, you can't bring out a gores. But I think that the, I think that it's more likely than not that your opponent will pop him on accident. And that'll make your opponents really double think whether or not they want to clear that board out. I would not be surprised if on the next ban list, if this guy gets, you know, really a lot of play, Trenade comes back. But, you know, that's dangerous talk. So, that's what I think about that guy. Tell me what you guys think about him in the comment section below if you think he's a good card or, you know, if I'm just crazy. And I'm going to post my Twitter in the description bar. And as always, you can subscribe here, see when I put out new videos, and thanks for watching.